Night fishing with LED light tips and tricks. Tip number one. It's important to understand how fishing lights work. When you place a source of light in the water, various microorganisms such as plankton get attracted to and gather around it. Bait fish, such as shad and minnows, come to the light to feed on the plankton. And eventually, large game fish move in to feed on the bait fish. Understanding this food chain reaction will help you to have more educated approach to catching big fish at the top of this food chain. Number 2. Use chum. Waiting for the plankton and bait fish to come to your light may take some time. You can either come a little early and set the LED light at dusk, or if you want to speed up this process, use chum. Using a combination of light, taste, and smell will significantly improve the outcome. Number 3. Give it a try. If you've never tried it before, you may think, why would I want to go fishing in the middle of the night? Is it worth it? Is it really that good? Is it safe? Do fish even bite at night? Let me tell you. Give it a try. It's a completely different experience. I personally enjoy it very much. We always catch something and have pretty good action most of the times. It is usually very quiet and peaceful at night. So far, it's been pretty safe and we've never run into any problems. You may like it a lot, or maybe not at all. You never know until you try it, at least a few times. Number 4. Use it as a plan B. You might be working all week, desperately waiting for the weekend. But sometimes it doesn't work out because of the weather or other plans and responsibilities that take priority. If that's the case, just pick a day during the week and go fishing at night instead. It's also family friendly. My wife and kids are usually in bed by 9 p.m. And that's when I leave the house. That's a win-win scenario in my books. Number 5. Find a quiet place where there is not much boat traffic or any other loud noises coming from docks, restaurants, marinas, etc. Don't make too much noise yourself. Some fish can easily get spooked and never come back anywhere near you. Number 6. Get the LED light that fits your budget. There is not that much extra gear that you need for night fishing. Basically, just the LED light and a battery. You probably already have a 12 volt battery that you can borrow from your lawnmower, boat, ATV, motorcycle, or other car. LED lights are pretty affordable these days and they start as low as $15. If you're interested, you can check the current prices at the link in the description area below. Number 7. The brighter the LED light, the better. Light will travel further underwater and attract more fish. Look for a higher lumens rating when shopping around. Number 8. Drop the LED light to about 2 feet from the surface. That seems to be the optimal depth. Number 9. Charge and test your battery ahead of time to make sure it will last long enough. If necessary, bring a spare battery. Number 10. If possible, Find a place that already has lights. Fish will likely be gathering around those dock lights every night, which will increase your chances of catching something. Number 11. Use the LED light colors that work best in your particular area. Different fish tend to be attracted to different colors. You can ask what colors work best on the online forums, observe what lights fish like to hang around at night, or just pay attention to what other fishermen use when you see them. For example, here in southwest Florida, green LED light is considered to work the best. It's also known that green light travels further distance under the water compared to red or blue. Number 12. Secure the LED light. Once, we hooked a fish. It wrapped around the cable and pulled the LED light off the pier and into the water. High current carried it away and we were never able to retrieve it. Number 13. Secure your rods as well. I've lost a $150 rod before and it wasn't fun. I left it unattended for just a moment and a big snook pulled it into the water right at the worst possible moment. Number 14. Bring multiple fishing rods. There are likely going to be few or no people at all and you will have the entire place to yourself with plenty of space for your rods. You can experiment and try different depth, techniques, lures, bait, weights, etc. 
to see what works best. Number 15. Use a cast net to catch some of the bait that comes to your light. This is what the big game fish are after. Why not give them what they want? Number 16. Another very important tip is hit that subscribe button below and follow some awesome fishing channels like this one on YouTube where you can learn from other people. Make sure to click on that notification bell to always be notified and to stay up to date. Number 17. If using lures, try to match them to what is swimming near the light. Underwater versus topwater, size, type of fish, and type of action. Number 18. Don't jerk the lures. Drag slowly for more natural presentation. Bait fish is more relaxed during the night, and that's what you want to replicate. Number 19. Use light tackle that doesn't sink fast. Since you are fishing from the shore or pier, you won't have much space to reel it in. Number 20. Use lighter tackle than you normally would. LED light illuminates everything around it, and fish can easily see a heavier line. They won't touch it. Trust me on that. Number 21. Experiment and try different depth and distance from the light. Some predators like to eat right in the open light. Some lurk on the bottom and attack from the darkness. Try fishing inside the light sphere, right on the outer edge and further away from the light. Number 22. If the fish stop biting or don't bite at all, move to another spot. Number 23. Use fishing apps. For example, if you're fishing on the ocean, pay attention to the tides and best time for fishing. I personally use a few apps for that, which I'm going to talk about in a separate video, so stay tuned for that. Number 24. Clean your LED light after each use. Salt water can quickly deteriorate the rubber and plastic. Use warm water and soap to clean your light. So these are my personal best tips for nighttime fishing with LED lights. Let me know if you have your own tips. Drop a comment below. I'd love to try them. Feel free to share your best night fishing story as well. I'd love to hear it. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thanks for watching. Tight lines.